Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the On Fire B2B podcast. It's a podcast where we take business owners and CEOs in the B2B space. Six questions, nine minutes, because the best know when to be concise and when to end. Let's get to it. Question number one in a couple sentences, tell me who you are and what do you do? Amy Jarzinski, founder and CEO of Kiss and Tell, the only global solution for group travel and celebration booking that gets your guests there without the headache due to our private social network core. Perfect, Amy. Question number two, what is the best thing about working with businesses? That you get to serve them and really give them what they need. Awesome, awesome. Question number three, I'm hearing from other top executives that getting from decision makers is a challenge. What are your thoughts? Well, you definitely have to have an angle. And I think if you have a great product, that's going to be the thing that speaks for you the most. You know, the product and then be persistent. Uh, maybe make some relationships with some of their colleagues and such and build your way up. Perfect, perfect. Question number four, what advice you share of other companies working in the B2B industry? Go. Well, a couple of things. So my biggest advice is to be a great listener. And this is because for if you're going to create a technology or have a business that serves other businesses, you really want to make sure that you are answering all of their needs. Now, I have a unique situation, whereas I created Kiss and Tell to answer the needs of the wedding and the group travel industry who had been communicating to me for decade, over a decade their challenges uh, when I was an executive at the competitor. Now, I understand most people won't have that, um, that fortune of a decade of experience. So what I would suggest to create those relationships and build and get your product in front of them as quickly as possible, be really persistent in um, you know, LinkedIn and trying to connect with a few key decision makers, get them to test out your product and really work on that relationship. Take the advice, the good and the bad, and apply those changes to your product so that once you have those couple of people um, hearing, feeling that they've been heard, um, they will then refer you to other colleagues in the industry. And it's really when you're able to listen and deliver on the needs of those professionals, you then can easily create and grow your network within the help of them or with the help of them. That works. So let's get to question number five. What other top CEOs and business owners in the B2B industry, like yourself, would you like to acknowledge as a leader and should be a guest on my podcast? <laughs> well, the three that come top of mind, um, one, Felicia Corcoda. She is the founder and CEO of Binti, which is a software uh, that helps enable adoptions and foster care. Um, my second one, Harold Hughes, who is the founder and CEO of Bandwagon Fan Club. Their technology enabling better engagements with fans for sporting events or large contract, um, concerts. And then the third is Farhaj Mayan, um, and he's the founder and CEO of Canna, which is a cannabis um, a marketplace that connects uh, workers with cannabis, with the cannabis industry and also helps with the training. Perfect. I'll look them up there. Number six, most important question of the podcast. Amy, got to focus on this one. Hey, Amy, tell me about your first time, your first sale. <laughs> well, luckily, I do have a biz dev background, so sales are my uh, sweet spot. But um, my first sale with Kiss and Tell, I love to share this story because it was a three-month-long process. The first step was acquiring that first couple, Ken and Darren, a phenomenal couple, and making sure that we had in a great enough marketplace with the supply side for where they wanted to have their destination wedding. So we made sure it took us a good three weeks to a month just to have about 30 or 40 great locations to have a wedding in Riviera Maya that were also gay friendly for them. Uh, next step was going through that process of all of the properties and walking them through our technology. We knew they would be our first sale, but it was not given that they were going to book with us. They had to like the technology. And that was a little bit of a bumpy ride. We made lots of improvements along the way and listened to them. Third was then rolling out better group communication technology so that we could get them to invite their guests and in turn, create their first sale, turning that into many more. And we then booked all 30 of their guest travel and the property that they ended up choosing, Unico Riviera Maya, loved our technology and how the deal flow worked from day one with Ken and Darren paying their deposits all the way to their wedding date. 
Perfect. I love that story there. So Amy, you now have four minutes and 10 seconds left. This is some promo time. Ask me a question. Talk about the weather. Or since the best know when to be concise, when to end, we end early. Go. Well, I, uh, I'm definitely going to take the time to share a little bit about Kiss and Tell. And then I'm going to ask you about your personal experiences with either your, your own wedding if you're married or, uh, of course, hearing about what you've used technology-wise to get there to your friend's weddings. Um, so Kiss and Tell, as I mentioned in the beginning, is the only technology for celebration and group travel bookings that gets your guests there, your whole group there without the headache because of our private social network core. So what we really do is we've listened to the industry in creating that automated deal flow that was needed. We've listened to the hosts of events, so couples, and we've done a lot of non, uh, non-wedding celebration events as well um, on really streamlining that planning process and automating their communications and their needs to their group and to their guests. And we also listen to the guests, which is a really unique thing because the guests told us they wanted to plan their attendance and book their travel to all of these various social celebrations in one place. And that's what we're delivering. So we really found in listening to not just the vendors, but the hosts and the guests, the consumer and industry side, we were able to create a great flywheel and get organic traction coming back to us time and time again. And that's what we're creating with Kiss and Perfect. Tell. Perfect. That's cool. Oh yeah, and I'm single, never married. Okay. Well, have you been to a wedding before? I have. I actually, it was a, there was a joke of all my friends that like five weddings in a row, I caught the goddard every single time. Oh, whew. I usually have that luck too. And I just quit being the one to catch the bouquet because it's just got to be a little bit embarrassing. Yep. But, uh, well, I always like to end on a positive note. So what, tell me a little bit about the best wedding you've ever attended. Let's see here. Best wedding that I've ever attended was the one with the open bar. <laughs> well, I hope that was every one of them, but, uh, uh you, know, you, well, you know, some of them have cash okay. bars. This one's an open bar. I'm like, sweet. I'm totally okay. taking advantage of that one. I hear you. I hear there you. you. Go. Well, um, you know, typically the answer that we get are definitely the destination weddings because people right. love the travel and the great experience. So hopefully if you haven't attended a destination wedding, you'll be able to do so through Kiss and Tell and you'll be a guest and user of our platform very soon. Awesome. There you go. Great. You pulled it off. Six questions, nine minutes, because the best know when to be concise and when to end. Your website, say it real quick. Kissandtell.com and you can follow us at Do You Kiss and Tell on Instagram. Perfect. You pulled off. It's in the description. It's magic. Amy, thank you so much for being on. Tip of the hat to you. Thank you, Bob. You're welcome. And for everyone else watching or listening, make sure you check out more episodes of the On Fire B2B podcast. My name is Bob Clark. You all have a wonderful day now. Talk to you later. Bye.